proud. Yeah, if you haven't heard by now, Regis Jesuit High School has a very talented basketball uh, player. Senior Fran Bolivi hasn't been playing the game for very long, but she's certainly leaving her mark one dunk at a time. I caught up with her this week to talk about her love of the game and what she hopes to do with the sport after high school. This is not your typical story about a girl that grew up playing basketball. They said, have you heard of this Fran Bolivi? And I said, never heard of her. I've always wanted to play because um, I like used to watch a lot with my dad. Did you know she's coming to Regis? I said, no idea who she is. I was like, wow, I'm pretty tall. Like, I feel like I could be good at this. Well, she said she can dunk. And I said, well, um, send me a photo. Like, send me a... So they sent me a little clip of her dunking a volleyball. And I was like, oh my. My parents didn't really let me until freshman year and I was like, I'll just play like with the high school. You don't even have to worry about dro dropping me off. I'll just stay after school. Like, it won't, you don't even have to come to any games. It's like, it'll be okay. I said, well, you have a gift. And she goes, oh, I do. I said, there's no girls that can dunk in high school in Colorado. And then I like made the team and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Fran went from never playing organized basketball to having to learn all the rules in a short amount of time. She's like a sponge. You just tell her and she'll take it. But the difference is she masters it within a day or two, and that's scary. Then, in her sophomore year, she made history, becoming the first girl to dunk in a Colorado high school game. First one, I didn't, I like wasn't thinking about it. I just like got the steal, and like there was no one in front of me, and I just like went up, and I don't even know what was going through my mind. I just went up and like did the dunk, and I was like, oh, cool. But then like all the other ones, like I was consciously thinking like, okay, I can dunk it on this one. Yeah, that's right, all the other ones. That was not a one-time dunk for Fran. It's just like a, a weird feeling of being like so high in the air that like your hand is above the rim and then like you're grabbing the rim and then you come down and you're like wow I was that high like and it really scares the other team too so it's like that like really gets them in their heads and then like they start playing bad and I'm like perfect perfect it's like now we can win. She's dunked several more times since then including this year when she threw down what some believe to be the first ever one-handed alley-oop dunk in a girls high school game. So we were like practicing it before the game and we were like okay like this is a game it has to happen and like I mean, we both said it to each other, but we, we didn't really actually think it was going to happen. And then it like happened and we were like, oh my God, this is amazing. Like some of the other slams, this one also went viral, grabbing the attention of some big basketball names like Isaiah Thomas and D. Wade, all giving her a shout out on social media. Someone showed it to me and I was like, this is so cool. Like, these are like the top athletes in the sport and they're like shouting me out and like appreciating something I'm doing. So it was absolutely amazing. However, with all the national recognition Fran receives, she still remains humble thanks to her family and teammates. All my friends are like all these amazing athletes and they're like amazing basketball players in their own right and they're like, oh my God, you're like a star, like you're famous, can I be you? And I'm like, yo, chill, like it's just me. <laughs> But get this, she's not just athletic, she's a star in the classroom too. Fran scored a 35 on her ACT, and she's going to play basketball in the fall at Stanford. After that, she's going to the pros, right? No, I want to be a doctor. That passion of wanting to help others comes from her parents, who are also doctors, and she hopes to follow in their footsteps and become a pediatrician. The WNBA and being a doctor really clash. There's, there's a lot of school involved, and the WNBA doesn't really allow for that. I'm hoping she uses her her gift to show millions of little girls what they can do and then become a doctor and you know, pediatrician and follow her mom's footsteps. Now March Fram will be participating in the Power A Jam Fest before the McDonald's All-American Game. She'll be the only girl competing in the slam dunk contest. Also, the Bolivia basketball story does not end with Fran. She has a younger sister, Hannah, who is in seventh grade. She plays basketball and can almost dunk. That interview up on my Facebook and Twitter. You have to check it out.